की बात द पॉइंटिंग फिंगर थम पॉइंटिंग फिंगर मिडिल फिंगर आई थिंक दिस हैव डन सो नो पुट दैट वन देन ओपन मिडिल फिंगर इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ वेलोसिटी लुक एट द फोर्स द थम विल पॉइंट अपवर्ड नो सो द थम विल पॉइंट इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ पॉजिटिव पोटेंशियल सो देयरफॉर द अपर एंड इज पॉजिटिव so directly you can give the polarity this will be positive this will be negative i am replacing with the effective emf so tell me what is the net emf induced in the loop you write kvl e123 minus e143 equal to 0 and magnitude is equal no so therefore what is the emf induced in the loop e123 minus 0 if the ring is having some resistance r let's say you so here how much of resistance can being r by 2 r by 2 what is the current in the ring will be zero half of the resistance will come for 1 2 3 4 remaining of will be so here i put r by 2 what is r resistance of the ring any current in the ring will be zero no no current flows different shaped loops different shaped rods there will be more uniform and field non uniform and field check on to the basics effective length is what matters here okay let's take some Let this be round. Magnetic field strength. Let the length of the rod be e, and let this be b. I am moving with a velocity. V bar, where V bar is given by V x i cap plus V y j cap. We have to calculate the EMF induced across the rod. Okay, it should be the one, two, three. E one three, I won't. Let me write one two and two three. Let's come back to the basics here. One. Suppose say if this a B bar is into the plane, and I'll I'll move the rod along its length. What is the MF induced across the ends? One two. Go back to this formula. E bar equal to V bar cross B bar dot L bar. V bar cross B bar. How V bar cross B bar will be? Check it. Will be along y axis. <coughs> B V J K. So here, let me do the coordinate axis. If it okay, curl V bar towards B bar. Thumb will be along Y axis. So V B V J cap are like it. Dot product. This should be L I cap. So B V L J dot I should be zero, no. So therefore, no EMF induced across the rod one two. Uh, sir, will there be any EMF induced between three four? If if it's a thin rod, then what is the length L? What is the width of the rod? Will be zero, no? Of course, EMF induced three four will be non-zero. It, it depends upon the width, the thickness of the rod. If the thickness is appreciable, yes, you can go for it. If thickness negligible, then you have to put E three four zero. Fine. Look at this. This is very important when thin rod. Thick rod. You have to make observation. 
uh, everywhere rod is conducting the so non conducting i will mention loop whenever i say loop rod anything no it should be conducting if the non conducting i'll mention separately okay now thin rod thin rod of l shape is moving in a plane is moving in a in an uniform magnetic field as shown find e13 i i want emf induced across the hands 193 Okay, thickness uh, difference in there. Huh? I, I made same same thickness. Thin rod is telling us so we need not to bother about the thickness now. First, we'll analyze one by one. So first, we'll look at only E one two. E one two. So uh, how is the x component? So for for E one two for the only So this is rod one two 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 types of fields are there, no? One B Y, another is B X. Then it is having X component of velocity, another Y component of velocity. <coughs> so let, let's check it now so b bar and v bar are in same direction no? now look look at this particular thing <coughs> how do you to y component of this first we'll calculate due to x component of field x component of velocity y component of field y component of velocity there'll be zero now x component of velocity and y component of field Uh, v bar cross b bar you check it i uh, straight away I, i suggest you to use this formula it's very easy v bar vx cross bx will be zero vy cross by will be zero agreed then vx cross by will be non zero and all be directed along z axis and how is l bar l bar is along y axis dot product of two vectors perpendicular will be zero So you take all the combination, e one two will be zero. Similarly, you you break up the problem. Two three. B x. This will be b y, and we have a field b x and b y. So what is the E M F induced in the rod two three? v bar cross v x cross b x will be zero v y cross b y will be zero then v x cross b y will be non zero and how will be directed be directed along z axis but l bar is measured along x axis it will be zero similarly v y cross b x will be along negative z axis l bar is along x axis dot product will be zero so i am very sure that from the mathematics e 1 2 0 E two three zero, so net EMF induced. These are both different. If B bar were into the plane, things will be different. If B bar were into the plane, things will be different. Is it okay? I think this formula you have to 
take help of this formula. You mean to say here, huh? this one, no? or, or or here, this one. You mean to say this one, E three one. Say what all EMF induce? I'm just adding up due to individual dots. <coughs> this one only. A uh, psi shaker, some some. No, this one. The, here you mean to say. Uh, what is E one three again? E one three or <coughs> E one two? Both are same, no? What you measure for E one two? Same thing for E one three. So you write it for E one three again. The same thing. V bar cross B bar. V bar cross B bar. It belong negative that axis. Oh, sorry, positive y axis. And, and J cap cross I cap will be zero again. Same thing. So what you do for E one two or E one three? Both will be same. E three four will be non zero. It, it thickness negligible. That's why I have put very small value. Uh, now the same situation. Uh, these are some types of objective questions. Are they are being asked in advance? That's why I just stressed once. So you try to assume the different types of structures, different types of fields, rather than you fight with a question. No, you better analyze. Uh, now the same. Thing. So let the b bar be into the plane, and the velocity of the rod. Let me give v x i cap, v y j cap. Let x be the length of this part, y be the length of this one. So I want the e one three, or let me write e p q. So look at the b bar. B bar is uniform and into the plane. If you are getting confusion, go for individual or directly take a formula. V bar cross b bar dotted. So let let me just break up E P O. This is related to that one. Uh, e E P O due to x component will be there and also due to y component will be there. As it is a thin rod, no, so therefore there is a thin rod. So velocity, component of velocity along the ends or pen should not be EMF due to that will not be considered. So therefore, E P O will be only due to B V X into Y. Then E O Q should be equal to B V Y into X. Will I agree this? As it is a that thin. That should be V Q O sir. Oh, okay, the, the symbol, huh? Yeah. E P O. I'll write it. So positive. The, and uh, look, look at this one. B bar and, and the velocity. So this this will be positive. Negative. Th then B bar and velocity. So this end will be positive. And this will be negative. I, I think I'm right. Huh? So it should be E O P. Why? Why you are writing like this? B bar finish or end P is positive, end O is negative. Sir, we are measuring distance from O to P, no sir. No, not not like that. I'm I'm writing potential difference. I think okay. you must understand. I'm writing potential difference. I'm writing potential difference. So what is the net potential difference? E P Q E P Q should be equal to E P O. So I'll move from positive to negative, then positive to negative. So shall I take defense or shall I add up? 
this is equivalent to like a cell still 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 if you unable to make it out so you do one thing replace this so when you move from p to q minus epo plus eoq I'll, I'll write it loop equation ep minus epo minus eoq minus eo all set equal zero so therefore epo epq should be equal to epo plus eoq add up these two so bvx y plus by x uh, able, able to make it so just do one thing replace with a cells positive and negative terminal how to replace positive terminal again the same thing as a positive charge inside the conductor and then proceed into the problem and get the polarity then apply kvn sir how did you get uh, uh, e, e sir I mean, like, why did you take V X only, sir? There, we had, we uh, have to take cross product, no sir. <laughs> Component of velocity along the rod will not contribute E M F because thin rod, no. Straight away, I am just going for a simplified approach here. As it is a thin rod, component of velocity along the length will not contribute E M F as a thin rod. Am I right? Okay, sir. So here, what are the things? There are two velocities are there, V X and V Y. Okay, no, no, no. You look at carefully. Why we are not taking EMF due to V Y because it is along the length, no? V Y is parallel to L bar. Here V X is parallel to L bar. Component of velocity along the length of thin rod will not contribute EMF. Okay, ma. This is so the thin rod is very important. So different types of questions, different shape of rods, mode in a magnetic field. What is the EMF induced? Uh, you have to be take different. And some sometimes you get a let L be the this one. Uh, what is the EMF induced? Component of velocity only equal to B L V cost V sine theta. Now, why due to V cost there is no EMF? 